Hello, um, Dr. Tulleen, Professor Tulleen. Um, I'm sorry this isn't in a more professional setting. Um, I just wasn't sure where I could go to do this without getting interrupted. I guess I could have gone to the library, but I forgot about that. Anyways, jumping right into this, um, <clears throat> I'm doing my essay on the book Finding Fish um, by Antoine Fisher. So I chose this book because although I was assigned to read it three years ago, I've read it on my own at least four times since then, including last semester, because it's just, it's a book that's filled with trauma and filled with real life experiences. Like it's a, it's based on a real story and the person that experiences everything is the one that wrote this book. So it's like an autobiography. And to realize that somebody can go through this much and still come out strong and come out with a good experience on life is so amazing so that that's why I keep reading it um so basically the the um summary of this book is that Antoine Fisher the main character or the person who wrote this book is a foster child and he um when he was younger um his mom put him up in foster care because she couldn't take care of him on her own and because she had him with a man who um she wasn't married to so at in this time period it was very disgraceful so she had to put him in foster care before more people found out about it and so this this novel um follows him through his life and the amount of foster care um, homes that he was taken to and the abuse he faces. So Antoine Fisher was in multiple um, homes for a little while until he was about three years old and that's when he remembers his first home because he stayed there um, for about 10 to 13, 10 to 11, 12, 13 ish years. Um, he's not quite sure because he forgets when he got there exactly. Um, but this is who he thought became his family. Um, I put quotation marks around family because they were very abusive towards him, both physically, mentally, and verbally. And they didn't really treat him as if they were his child, like, as if he were their child. They just kind of were having him so that they can have the money that comes with having a foster care, um, person or a child in your home. Um, so... Going into this story, after um, he was taken into this home, um, he experiences all this abuse and he struggles through things such as religion and family and understanding what his life is, especially his self-hatred towards himself as something that he struggles with throughout his entire life. Um, and then he talks about how he, after escaping from his foster care parents, he joins the Navy and really and truly discovers who he is and who he's meant to be and how he should be treated. And so right now he then talks about how exactly he built himself up and how he, he um, figured out who he's supposed to be to the point where he loved himself enough to write a story about his life and then also create a movie out of it too. So jumping right into it, um, some key components uh, that are talked about in this book that we talk about heavily in the class the first one would be family. So talking about, like I just said, Antoine Fisher's biological father was killed by his girlfriend um, when before Antoine was born. And Antoine's mom was somebody that his dad was having an affair with, but she wasn't the one that killed him. So when she found out that he had been killed, she realized that they can't get married and have this child. So when she had him, it was very disgraceful and she had to, again, put him up for in the foster care system. And then when Antoine finally got to his um, stable home where he stayed for more than just a few months, it was the Pickett's house. Um, and there he faced a lot of emotional and physical and mental and verbal abuse as well as sexual abuse by his um, next door neighbor, Walanda. Um, so basically he faces abuse through Mrs. Pickett the most where she would yell at him um, verbally and call him the N-word and just disgrace him for being um, his 
skin race, like his race and his skin color, even though she's the same skin color as him. They're both African American, but she despises the idea of Af being African American so much that she takes her anger out on the fact that she is African American on him and his other foster brother, Dwight. Um, so during this time, he faces that abuse. He also faces physical abuse, which he talks about um, in this novel. And he says that when we get in trouble, down to the basement we go, where she ties us up, she being Mrs. Pickett, where she ties us up to a big pole that stands from floor to ceiling. Miss Pickett ties us up there a lot, before or after whippings. We've been left here for better parts of days. So not only will she whip them, she'll tie them up downstairs in the basement and leave them there to starve for days. Just like how she would normally, as form of punishment, not feed them for multiple days at a time, just so that they can um, have consequences for the, the mistakes that they make. And mistakes being things like not doing their chores on time or things sim like simple small things that normal kids would do on a daily basis. So not only did he get abuse from Mrs. Pickett, he also got abuse from her two daughters. So they were almost like his um, evil stepsisters when they would make him do like meaningless chores for them just so that they can show him that they're superior to him. And then lastly, he also got sexually abused um, by his next door neighbor, Wolanda, who um, was really close with Mrs. Pickett and would often come and babysit the kids when the Picketts went out of town or they had things to do. And Wolanda would take him to the basement and make him do things with her. Um, so this became, like the basement and the house became this haunted um, memory for him. But at the same time, sadly enough, that became his image of what family is and what family is supposed to be. So he grew up realizing that family is just torture and they, they're they not people that, who are there for you because his parents left him or he believes that his biological parents left him on purpose. He went to multiple foster care foster homes because nobody wanted to keep him and then finally when he settled down he was just constantly being abused by people that were supposed to be his family so to escape this like reality of who his family is Antoine would often have this reoccurring dream where he is in like sitting in a kitchen surrounded by his family lots and lots of family members who are biological to him or he or so he believes and they're eating a thanksgiving dinner like enjoying each other's company and enjoying each other's laughter and this will become a, an important part in the book later on so the second most important thing in this book is the dom culture of his race um growing up antoine didn't believe that the color the color of his skin would be that impactful because he was being fostered by people who were also the same like skin color as he is so he didn't realize the whole concept of what racism could be until um he went to first until he went to school where he realized that kids who were lighter than him were being treated better and then finally he realized it in his own home um so on page 76 he talks about how um, the Pickett's fostered a new child, um, Keith, who was four years old at the time, and he was still African American, but he was lighter than both Antoine and Dwight, his other foster brother. And he says, the way Miss Pickett treated Keith so much better than us, carrying on about him being so special because his father was white and Keith's skin was light and his hair was good, that made White turn his anger towards Keith. And I fought Dwight because I wanted Keith to like me. In fact, I wanted to be like him. Later, I could see that more clearly and see the irony that Dwight resented Keith for all the reasons I wanted to be Keith. So that's basically just saying that, um, like, he wanted um, to be like Keith because um, he believed that Keith was being treated better because Keith um, had lighter skin and in fact it became more like accurate when um, when during Christmas time n neither d um, 
D neither Dwight or Antoine got Christmas presents, but Keith was like given so many, and he they he was constantly like not beat like them, not um s like not stay did not stay hungry, like he was being treated as if as if he was really a part of the Pickett's family because he was lighter than everyone else, and this is when Antoine realizes that. Racism is going to be a big part of his life and that sometimes he's going to get mistreated even by people of his own race because of the skin of his color. The color of his skin. Um, so then the next thing is again dom the dominant culture of religion. So in this um, where he's from and the household that he's from, the dominant culture um, religion is Christianity. And this... This... Um, the concept of religion and Christianity plays a really important part in Antoine's life because um, he begins to detest God and begins to turn his anger towards God because um, like the people, the pickets and the people he surrounds himself by or he's always constantly being surrounded by preach about kindness and preach about forgiveness and treating everyone like equal and they go to church every single day the the pickets go to church they pray they talk about god's word yet as soon as they get back home they do the exact opposite and they abuse um antoine and they like do all the things that they said that they would never do because god doesn't want them to do it they go back and do it as soon as they're out of church so to Antoine, this didn't make any sense. And he started to hate the idea of being a Christian because he realized that all Christians are just liars. Or at least to him, they all became liars. And he also started to really hate the idea of God because he believed that God was just watching him suffer and God wasn't helping him. Because people would say that God helps those who are in need, but... Um, Antoine would constantly question, well, he clearly needs God, he's being physically abused, he's being sexually abused, and yet God won't do anything about it. So in page 125, he asks, and he says, um, after a while, sometimes in bed at night, I find myself opening up in ways I can't with any person, and I allow my tears to fall and let myself feel all the despair and anguish that living in the Pickett's home has compounded in my psyche. And in these private moments, I ask God the most, pressuring, the most pressing question of my life as a ward of the state. When is the good part going to come? So people are constantly telling Antoine that things will get better and that God's looking out for him, yet he continues to be abused and he continues um, to feel hatred towards everyone around him. So he believes that God isn't looking out for him and that God has already given up on him. So he stops, um, he stops believing in the Dom culture and then once he... Once he tells Mrs. Pickett that he no longer wants to be a Christian and he's not going to church with them anymore and he kind of revolts against the whole idea of going to church and being an actual Christian, she um, becomes so angry at him that she tells him every time they go to church that she's going to lock him out of the house unless he goes to church with them. He has nowhere else to go. So this would happen even in the freezing winter when they go to church, she would make him sit outside the house and not be able to go inside because she didn't want him to be eating her food and watching her TV shows as she was praying to God when he was also supposed to be praying to God. So this didn't help his case with loving God anymore. In fact, it just made him question again why God was doing this stuff to him and what is Christianity really besides evil and hatred. And then the last key component that this relates to um, for the class is communication. Um, so communication or lack thereof in um, Antoine's part just prolongs um, his abuse because as a foster child Antoine is meant to have meetings with his social worker um, multiple like on a regular basis it just happens to be that sometimes Mrs. Pickett would mostly have an excuse for why they can't come so he ends up going to see his social worker maybe four or five times a year but even during this time they question him all the time and they ask him how things are going and he refuses to talk about it because he is so scared of how he's gonna say stuff and if like he says something and they ignore it anyway 
and then he goes to the Pickett's home and he just gets abused again for saying it so he becomes really self-conscious about all the things he has to say and like the miscommunication that could happen so for example the only time that he really tries to reach out and like get help was when he went there one time um, and had a meeting with his social worker and he says um, when I received a visit from my social worker, she asked, Antoine, is it true that you told the nurses that you didn't want to go home? Yes, ma'am, I answered. I like it here. Why? Everyone's nice here. This gave Miss Blum pause. She asked, aren't they nice at home? And I didn't answer. My silence wasn't enough to prolong my hospital stay, so I turned as planned, so I returned as planned to the Pickett's home. So, basically, he tried to get help in the way in the way that he could he didn't outright say um that he wanted help or that he was being abused because if he had said that they would have done all means to um take him out of that situation but he was raised for so long believing that every single thing that he would say is only going to get him in trouble that he's unaware of when communicating could be best for him or when it is a mistake so here he did subtly try to talk and but the communication was lost in between and so he didn't get the help that he needed okay so now talking about culture shock um the question is like how did the subject or Antoine in this case experience culture shock um so talking about the four phases of culture shock Antoine for a while after he finally escaped from the Pickett's home he was living in the street homeless for about a year or so until one time in the middle of the winter he accidentally saw a flyer to join the navy and he thought what could possibly be worse than what he's doing right now so he joins the Navy and the new culture that he's experiencing and that he that is being like shown to him um, really shows him culture shock. So in the first um, phase is the exhilaration phase or the phase of like excitement. And during this time, um, do what, like during this time, Antoine realizes that he he's the same as everybody else like he deserves to be um praised he deserves to be appreciated that he's more than just average like he's not below average like the pickets have always told him in fact he's average and sometimes above average in certain ways and this provides him with a feeling of like overwhelming excitement and he like begins to realize that maybe like he is just as good as everybody else so he says on page 267, up until now, I've been below average and by no means had I ever been an athlete, but boot camp gave me a new self image. I found out that I was average academically and athletically. In some instances, I was even above average, especially when it came to cleaning and organization, as well as adhering to rules and regulation. If my upbringing in institutions had prepared me for anything, it was definitely those aspects of the Navy. So once he faces the Navy and the culture shock of that everyone is the same, that race-wise, like it doesn't matter what your race is because you're all here for the same reason. Communication-wise, like people give him the patience to talk to him and to talk to them and people like listen to him and take the time to understand what he's trying to say. And so he finally feels like he's in this place where he can thrive. And in fact, he does. He becomes above average in some things and he becomes like somebody who other people look up to and who other people want to make connections with. So this for him is very exciting. But then of course, phase two comes around and it's the disenchantment stage. So after all the excitement faded away, um, the feeling of dis discomfort like settles in and he starts to question if he really deserves this praise and if he deserves this like um accomplished feeling and that's only because like he isn't used to it he's not used to feeling accomplished and he's not used to being good at something or at least being told that he's good at something so he becomes really uncomfortable with the idea that people look up to him and that people want to be like him because again he he has a very poor image of himself. In fact, he's full of self-hatred. So the idea that people are looking up to him, he starts to begin that he he starts to believe that he doesn't deserve this attention and he doesn't deserve this praise. 
But then again, phase three comes around and that's the adjustment stage. This is the period of time where he starts listening to um, the people above him when they tell him that he is um, and like an important asset to the Navy and that he um, deserves all the praise that he gets. So he begins to realize that after years of abuse, he be he finally deserves to um, feel good about himself, which brings along phase four, the effective function stage, um, and this is when he begins to set himself to a higher standard, and he like sets to himself goals that he believes he can achieve because finally he realizes that he's smart enough and he's capable enough and strong enough to achieve these goals. These goals. So the first goal that he sets for himself is um, to graduate the Navy. And um, he talks about how good it felt to graduate the Navy. And he says, I heard my name announced as a graduate and official recruit of the United States Navy. I was Antoine Quentin Fisher, and I was proud to be me. I was proud of myself and the place where I now belong. So this was the most crucial moment of the book near the end where he just realizes that he deserves to be happy just like everyone else and he deserves um, the acceptance that he got during the Navy. And this like culture, this new culture to him is really, really important in his development because now he's moved past just hating himself and thinking that he is lower than everybody else. Now he's beginning to feel accomplished and beginning to feel like he can finally have his life and figure it out for himself and just be be an important part of everything. So um, what judgments did Antoine make about this new culture? Um, so Antoine begins to realize that the way that he was raised is actually like going to become obsolete. He realizes that um, the way he was raised isn't the way that people are normally raised and it isn't the way that he should live the rest of his life. So as he slowly becomes an important part of the Navy and as he slowly begins to get more self-love for himself, he realizes that the way that he was raised is something that he should be letting go. And he says on page 271, this was when one time he was cleaning with the other people of the Navy and he was like going through the motions really fast because he wanted to just get everything done right away. And somebody told him to slow down and he was like, why should I slow down? Like that doesn't make any sense. And they said, because if you keep going fast, they're only going to assign us more things to do. And this was a shock to him because at home, like he was just gonna, he would have to do everything really quickly and keep doing it, otherwise he'll get beat. So this is when he says, um, slow down, okay, what an eye opener. Clearly it was more important to do a good job, but the main idea today was to make the job last. This was one of the many times I would see that some lessons I learned about survival in my childhood had become obsolete. So I think that this is really important. This is a really important realization for him to make because this is a big step for him to let go of his past and begin focusing on his future and begin realizing how much he actually deserves. So I think that this realization and this judgment, like this exact moment that he realized that, um, set him up and set his future up because he's slowly starting to be begin to let go of his past. So... Um, making a connection to me this is why I love this book so much it's because like Antoine struggles with um connecting to God just because like of all the bad things that has happened to him and I, I've written a paper already my first paper about how much I struggle with connecting to religion it's just the idea of religion doesn't really make sense to me and like reading this book I realized that Antoine and I feel the same thing like why is God letting bad things happen to good people if there is truly a God, like, why is why do all of these things happen? And so it's very exciting for me to, like, read this book and have somebody think the same thoughts that I do. Because I know people think that, but this is somebody who's writing these things down and who has a published book where he questions the morals and the judgment of God. And to me, that's very eye-opening, and I, I, that's the one part of the book that I really, really do love and enjoy. Because in the end, Antoine become, like, becomes just as close to God, but he just needed that time to, like, figure it out for himself instead of constantly following everyone and, you know, 
being like, oh, well, everyone says God does this for these reasons. Instead, he questioned it and in the end ended up finding his way back to God when God, like when he realized that God put certain people in his life and put certain aspects in his life, such as the Navy. So this book makes me excited for my future as well and makes me more open to the idea that God is doing everything um, for a certain reason. And I'm very excited to see when I make that connection with God again in the future. And that's why I love this book so much. Um, not only that, but this book helps me as a social worker, as somebody who wants to be a therapist, realize the mistakes that his social worker made in these books are so frustrating because there would be clear signs of abuse or clear signs that he's in distraught and doesn't want to leave talking to his social worker and he doesn't want to go home but they send him back every single time and it, it could be because they were underemployed and couldn't really focus on the little things but to me it's just so frustrating because I want to I want to do a better job and this makes me excited to just go out in the field and find people like this and have people like this come to me so that I can help them in any way that I can and it just makes me realize that every time I read this book it makes me realize that I have chosen the right field for me and I can't wait to start and like help these people who are being ignored throughout their whole life. So just to wrap everything up and tell you how it ends, basically after the Navy Antoine went and got a job as a um guard in like some sort of production studio and there he met people and he told them about their story and they and then he realized that they realized that they wanted to make um so once his story got out people wanted to make movies and wanted to write stories about it but he waited until somebody offered him the deal that he could write the story and that he could direct the movie he, he didn't want to do that for the money he just didn't want anything to get lost in the way and he didn't want anybody to miss the little things or mess with his life in any way and so when he finally got that deal he wrote this book and he published a movie about it so now there's a movie and there's this book and he like just talks about how his life went after that so not only did he publish this book he also met with his family he found his grandma he found his uncle and aunt his biological uncle and aunt and reconnected with all his family and had that dream that he always had where he's sitting at Thanksgiving like hearing his family laugh and just surrounded by people he loves so that was something that he had he made a connection with his mother and he met his mother again but he just realized that she really wasn't that important to him in the end like he always questioned why she left him but in the end like it didn't matter because he built himself on his own and because she left him he got to discover who he really was so even though he knew her he didn't get close to her like he had hoped he would um because he realized that it wasn't really that important and then he also followed up and tried to find where Dwight was and realized that Dwight was now in jail because Dwight just didn't get as lucky as he did when finding the Navy. So now he constantly goes back and like tries to um, visit him and talk to him and just make sure he like realizes how much he how much Antoine appreciates Dwight being um, in his childhood and like helping him get through everything. And then finally, now Antoine is married. Um, he fell in love with a woman named Lynette and they got married and they had a daughter. This is something that Antoine struggles throughout the book because he always talked about how he didn't believe that he would ever find love because of all the ab sexual abuse that he faced with Wolanda and how it led to chronic shyness when around women and how he felt extremely uncomfortable under like no matter which who it was no matter what girl it was he felt beyond uncomfortable being around them and almost scared of them so he always questioned if he would truly find love for himself so the fact that he now fell in love has a wife um and has a daughter is a very big step for him and yeah basically like he's living a life he's living the life that i think that he deserves and he figured everything out and although his like although his past was really rough um he now has a future like that he would have never thought he has but it's a future that he deserves and it's a future that is really really good and yeah so yeah that's why i chose this book like it's just i would recommend reading it like it's a book that i would read just for fun like it is filled with terror and it's filled with like really awful things but it's very eye-opening and it helps people just become more aware of issues that we're constantly surrounded by but we've become really ignorant to 
Um, so yeah, thank you again so much for letting me um, talk. This is um, sending a video. This um, is a lot better for me than writing. I'm, I've never been a good writer, so I really appreciate this, and I hope um, I hope I did this assignment right. <laughs> okay, thank you.